Today's Gospel, Wednesday, March 15, is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 17 to 19. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Sister Dea Fresnosa. Moses, ka ba? Minsan may nakakwentuhan ako, may napag-usapang kaming isang brother na isa palang boss sa isang malaking kumpanya. Ganyan-ganyan lang yan si bro, pero Moses yan sa opisina. Ha? Kuya, anong Moses? Moses? Yung pag naglalakad na sa planta, humahawi yung tao kasi takot sa kanya. In our lives, there have been times when we act like Moses too. In our own right, or branded as a Moses. Whichever. Haha. <laughs> Point is, there are people in our lives who think of us as the typical basag trip. KJ. When in fact, you're just being you. Willfully obeying God trying to bring balance to those gifted by God around you. We have a handful of who we consider as our own Moses too. Ilag ka din ba sa kanila? Moses and Jesus. They have the same character after all. Matthew presents Jesus as the new Moses. What we seem to forget is who Jesus actually is in our lives. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. First and foremost, to fulfill the best the Father wants for you. Sample na lang. My number one, Moses, is my husband. Ay nako, umaga pa lang, litany of the wives na. My personal fermator delivered by the Lord right at my doorstep when I said, I do. But kidding aside, after all the sermons and litany, from my loving husband, truth is, I know I got better than when I was younger in the renewal. Coming from an affluent household, my husband taught me most of what I know now with gawaing bahay. I was mostly trained for corporate and business by my parents, even in terms of my temper and things I value now. So, when your very own Moses is around, it's Jesus' reminder for you to abolish the old deeds to make way for something new. Above all, fulfill the will of the Father for you. Let us pray. Lord, help me embrace the Moses you have sent in my life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.